We live in a hot tropical country, India, and the commonest infection in tropical countries is a fungal infection of the skin. So this is one of the commonest infections we see as skin specialists or dermatologists. But what is the cause for recurrence? Earlier, about 10 years back, we could easily treat fungal infections with two to three weeks or one month of antifungals or many times even one week of antifungal creams would get rid of the fungal infection. But these days, especially in the past six to seven years, we are seeing almost an epidemic of fungal infections. What could be the cause for this? One is, there is a delay in seeking treatment. So fungal infections affect areas like inner thighs and the pubic area where the belt or waist area. In women, it can affect area where they wear undergarments like bra area. So basically, wherever clothes are tight and sweat accumulates for a long time, these are areas which are prone for fungal infections. So people feel embarrassed and delay in seeking treatment. Second could be incorrect treatment. Many times they don't visit doctors or they don't visit dermatologists. They might visit an unqualified person, they might visit a chemist. And most of the times to give relief to the patient from itching, they give some steroid containing creams. The cream may have antifungal, but it will also have a steroid. What steroid does, it reduces the itching immediately and gives the patient relief and it makes the infection spread further. Also, because steroid reduces inflammation, the inflammatory changes seen in the skin completely disappear and patient feels infection is gone. The moment they stop the steroid, the infection comes back again with the worst symptoms. So then the patient continues to apply the steroid because it gave them relief in the first place. So they become habituated to the steroid and by the time they visit the dermatologist, it would have spread all over the body. A lot of uh, initiatives were carried out by Indian Association of Dermatologists, Venerologists and Leprologists to make people aware of this steroid menace. So this has reduced steroid abuse to a large extent. But still there are uneducated people who don't understand this and use some medication which gives them instant relief. The third thing would be hot and humid weather. So as I was telling you earlier, we are in a tropical country and uh, we are always sweating more because of the heat and especially now it's the hottest summer in India. So this also contributes to increasing fungal infection. The fourth point would be poor hygiene. Poor hygiene need not necessarily mean that you don't take bath properly. It could also mean that you don't wash your clothes properly. It could also mean that after you sweat a lot, you continue to wear the same clothes. You don't allow the clothes to dry properly. Basically, where moisture is exposed to the skin for a long time, in the same area or if you are traveling for a long time or if you have long working hours so most of us are very busy these days we don't have time to take care of ourselves so we'll wear the same clothes again and again and this could be one of the contributing factor for uh, recurrent or uh, resistant fungal infections then there are other patient factors so we may see initially multiple people in the family getting infection with treatment all of them will get cured but one of the persons keeps getting recurrent infection so this is not related to the fungus or to the medication or to the weather or hygiene etc. It's related to the patient. So some patients have very dry sensitive skin which are more prone for infections and the fungus becomes part of their normal skin. So majority of the fungal infections uh, which have recurrence, the fungus is part of the normal skin and uh, due to patient sensitive skin they are more prone to develop that infection so they need very long courses of antifungals along with antifungals they may need moisturizers they may need other products which break something called as biofilms and then recently the most important thing we have seen is resistance to antifungals so the fungus which infects people it's becoming more resistant it's not responding to the same antifungal earlier two to three weeks of antifungal tablets would cure it now we have to give for three months or six months. One is they become more resistant, so they require higher concentration of that antifungal given for longer time. Sometimes they may not respond to that antifungal at all. So then we need to use different types of antifungals or combination of antifungals. So uh, there are many factors which could be involved in resistance or recurrent fungal infections. And uh, a dermatologist will be able to guide you as to what is the reason and how to prevent recurrences of fungal infections.